We have, yeah. to work. we have to work today. Um, yes. <laughs> Can we take a day off? <laughs> okay. We had a day off yesterday. <laughs> well, it came out right. Yeah. It's good. Seal it up and then we can focus on the other side. Yes. And exactly. then we can start putting this back. Mm. Yeah. Concrete on this came out okay. It's uh, not perfect. <laughs> Far from perfect, but it's okay. But it is still a bit sandy, so I'm gonna just start putting on some sealant. We had some sealant left over from our last project. It's already pre-mixed. It looks a bit like milk, but I'm gonna give it uh, two or three layers, something like that, not too complicated. It'll just soak in and go into the pores make the concrete a little bit harder so the concrete won't wear down every time we're stepping on this over time. And then we can start working on the piping for the drainage, get that all hooked up so that when the rains come in a few days, it's not going to flood down here. So going down pretty simple. I don't know if we're gonna paint this or not, or just leave it natural. I can ask you guys, what do you think? If we should paint these stairs or we should just leave it natural, it would be nice to hear what you guys think. Zula said I should paint the steps pink. What do you guys think? <laughs> Thank you. So the last thing we want to do is actually just get this uh, drain thing connected up as it sticks out here. I'm just gonna take this one off, cut it down, add this one on. For some reason it's, it's square. But all the pipes around, I just don't understand. Just going to take this down, get it cut. The pipe is in a different spot, so we're going to use some 45s just to make it. Put a cap on and it's easy peasy done. But and it has then, a square pipe yeah, for that. I know, but it's still going to go into a round one. <laughs> so the entrance to the drain is a little bit on the outside because we're actually going to build another foundation wall that's going to come to about this high. And it's going to run that way and that we will tell you when we actually start doing it. That's why we're gonna to have to come up and then 45 and then connect it here. So that's why it's a little bit wonky. Anyway, okay. we get it done. problem averted. Nice. Thank you very much. Finished with the stairs now. The sealant coat is on. We finished with the drain piping so that is now connected. Now what I'm going on is another little step. This is uh, 55 centimeters. It's going to be a little bit lower than the concrete base because that is actually going to be on the ground. We're going to cover this all up with gravel. It's going to have a little bit of a slant to it so that whatever rainwater comes down this direction will go onto the concrete and go down to where I'm going to make another manhole. So I've done the forms, just going to whip up some concrete, get it in, level it out, and then I'm done with concrete for the moment because then we can focus on other things. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, one more concrete pour. Hey, Flamey, one more concrete pour for Daddy. Okay, one more concrete pour. Okay. And then we fix the garden, okay? Okay. Okay. Time's ticking on, daylight's burning. Mix up concrete, get it in, get this done. <laughs> Thank you, Flamey. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, funny. Thank you, funny. All right, get this job done, and then we can focus on other things. <laughs> Whoa. I have a new job skill. I can become a professional. 
professional concrete mixer. By hand. By hand. That was actually one of my better concrete days. <laughs> it was good mix, good consistency, and it went down really, really nicely. I was able to smooth it down. So we're just gonna let this cure, and then we can take away the forms in a two or three days. Now I'm really done with my concrete. <laughs> I don't for do, now. <laughs> I don't wanna do any more concrete, for a couple of weeks at least. Hard work. Look in there. I've been away for a few days and I've come back to this amazing site. Zula has been so busy with her parents the last couple of days flattening out this whole area. Baby, I love you. You've done a fantastic job. That to be! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I was complaining about the concrete, but man, that looked like a big job. The last couple of days, they've just been flattening it out. We got a little bit more topsoil. We have all this Hoss compost that we collected last year or actually the year before that. Yeah. It's just been sitting here. We're gonna start making a bit of a mix between topsoil and compost. We're gonna run some string lines and start to get our raised beds because the temperature at night has now gone above freezing, which means that during the week we can get our vegetables in the garden outside, which is fantastic. Yes, great job, baby. Thank you. We have to clean all this compost, take all the stones out, Clean the topsoil, mix everything together, make the lines, and get it made up. Great. Let's crack on. We're going to start running string lines from the front of the greenhouse to the side of the greenhouse so that we can try to get as straight beds as we can. This first line is actually going to be a fence that we're going to build later, starting off with that. And then, of course, we're going to have a path running on that side. We're going to have a gravel path. So we're going to run a string line there. We're just going to measure all the way up, run string lines all the way down. Once we have the string lines, we're going to mix up the soil and then wheel it in with a wheelbarrow and get everything straight. I think that's the plan. What do you think? Good. Okay. Get these lines. Straight lines. I don't want yeah. anybody in the gardening community to say those are terrible skew bits. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a garden, it should be straight. <laughs> so we try. Okay. First time doing it, but we try. Yeah. Nice to have some help. Zula's brother is here helping out. Lightning storms. I'm being a bit OCD about this. So what we do, we have the string lines and then we're just coming on with the first layer which is just a topsoil. Then we're gonna amend it with compost and some other things as well before we plant our vegetables. At least we're gonna have straight lines. Yeah. But we'll see how much we can do today. <laughs> There's definitely a thunderstorm Don't. over there. So hopefully it doesn't hit us too hard. <laughs> but if it does hit us, at least the drain system is connected. So we're not gonna get flooded. <laughs> Over there. Lightning storm is coming. Now you understand why we were so passionate about getting this drain system in. The rains were coming. Coming fast. Yeah. Storms always stop our work. 
It's getting cold. I thought it was going to be easy. Hard working. Rain's working anyway. Rain's working? Yeah. I was so glad we got that drain system finished. Yeah. Just in time. Mm. And pouring down. Are we going to have to call it quits for today, baby? Yes. There's no way. Everything has just turned to mud. Yeah. Right. Poker night. <laughs> <laughs> See you. Yeah, yeah. Well, since we've got the whole family here, we might as well just enjoy something. Play some poker. Yes. We picked this up when it's dried. Yeah. Okay, guys. We'll catch you next time when it's all dried up. Mm -hmm. And we'll continue this project. Bye-bye. Okay, let's go. <laughs>The storm the other day was absolutely incredible. There was so much water that this place was just absolute mud. But we left it a few days, it's dried out. We had a few things to do this morning, but this afternoon we're just cracking on, getting some more beds. But actually it was a good thing that the rain stopped us before we made a terrible mistake. I don't know, we just miscalculated. We thought in our minds that it should be 74 centimeters thick, but actually that's not correct. It should be 91 centimeters which is 36 inches. So we're gonna use 90 centimeters with a 30 centimeter gap. And then we will have seven rows instead of eight. Good that it did rain, so we didn't make that mistake. Otherwise we would have to fix it all over again. But otherwise, this line system's working. They're looking straight. Yeah. We just gotta move a hell of a lot of dirt <laughs> or a hell of a lot of topsoil and compost. So all we gotta do is just crack on. Tima. Tima. <laughs> yeah. Didn't you say farming was easy? So you said to me, oh, no problem. Farming is easy. <laughs> Guys, we're cracking on. It's getting a bit late now, so we're gonna call it for the evening. Mm. But we started pretty late today anyway, but we got three done. We have four more to go. We'll pick this up tomorrow yep. and the day after. And once we have all this done, then we can start putting our vegetables in. Fine. We're gonna get inside and see with Fred. Okay, good night. <laughs> Looks tired. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Yeah. All right, good night, guys. Have a good evening. Have a good evening. <laughs> Have a good night. Ooh. Ah. Oh, God. So we have a huge problem for this whole like few days rain. So we have like this sewage there and it's like full of water. So we have we hired this truck and tried to fill up and solve the other water problem. Today is a much more beautiful day than the last couple of days that we've had with rain. And the rain was coming down so hard. We had two major water problems. 
that we found last year. One was in front of the greenhouse and the other is back here. We haven't even, <laughs> we haven't even started to touch the back here because this is where we have all the dirt from our greenhouse that we put here. We're going to do a driveway here, but all the water from the road kind of crosses the road and then comes into our property. And this whole area here just sank the where our septic tanks are and the water is pouring into our septic tanks. So it was a bit of an emergency to get some soil covered here. Otherwise we would have had a very smelly problem. <laughs> I was out for the day, but Zula did a very good job with her dad. They took some of the dirt, they covered this up. It looks absolutely terrible now, but we will sort all this out. Once we finish on that side and our tension comes to here, we will make it all nice. We're going to move the chicken coop to another area as well. But anyway, it's a really nice day. We have some of Zula's family coming around. They want to have a barbecue. I said I would make a nice curry as well. Before they arrive, there's a couple of things that we want to get done. We need to move some chickens around. We have some four bigger chickens in the brooder in the greenhouse. We want to put them outside and we want to get the little baby chickens out to the brooder and get that done before we start cooking for our guests. Hey, Flaming. Since all these chickens have their feathers now, they can go out. That means we can bring the other chicks to the brooder and it's really warm in here because we need the other box for all the baby quails that will be born in a few days. Good. Put inside. Here we go, next one. <laughs> this one. Black one. Black one. one. Yay. Yay! High five. So now they have a new home. They'll be much happier out here than they would be in the greenhouse. them up otherwise they run away. Good. Thank you. Yeah, bye. 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 My family is coming here and visit us because today is the children's day. So Ashley promised us that cooking really nice curry. Ashley asked me to pick up some mint and coriander and we're gonna barbecue it's gonna be an awesome day, but also the weather is fantastic. While I'm here, they pick up some salads as well. Really great. We're just gonna enjoy the rest of the day. All of Zula's family have arrived. I promised I would make a really nice curry. Gonna make a lamb curry and just enjoy the rest of the afternoon. I think we're gonna end the video here. It has been up and down this week with the weather. So we couldn't get much done, but next week we'll pick up and get this all done. Guys, thank you so much. We love you lots and we will see you in the next one. Bye.